Hello, I'm Walter Tupas. Welcome to Rappler Talk. This September 2017, Rappler, in partnership with the United Nations Development Program, is holding the annual Social Good Summit. They are challenging you to think out of the box and innovate for solutions for social problems. And today, we're going to talk about how to innovate for local governance and development. Joining us in the studio is Malabon City Mayor Antolin Len Oreta III, Gemma Bagayawa Mendoza, Social Good Summit 2017 Project Lead, and Jacqueline Damaso Gray, UNDP Communications Associate. Uh, start tayo sa inyo, Mayors. Pag nag-input uh, ka ng Malabon City, ang unang lalabas, fire. Sabi mo yung perception din, minsan baha sa so water and fire. But what is the problem really on the ground? Ano mga challenges sa uh, Malabon, mga development challenges sa inyo? Well, uh, madami actually, madami. Mm. It's very challenging. Mm. Uh, isa na dyan, yung sabi ko, yung informal sectors natin. Mm -hmm. uh, so we wanna, we wanna help them, but we also wanna uh, lessen yun, yun, kasi like this, this last month, August, we had several fires. Mm -hmm. And that's because uh, nagluluto sila sa kailang using firewood, mm -hmm. napapabayaan. And two of those fires, para sayan kasi mm -hmm. uh, isa, nagluluto ng kaling baboy, nakatulog siya. Mm -hmm. Tapos di dyan sabihan yung mga kapitbahay, nasunog, naapekto ng dami. Mm -hmm. Isa naman, nag-aaway sila ng mga asawa, mm. they're using firewood, mm. naapektohan, so we should be vigilant. Kailangan yung komunidad mm. nagkakaisa, tutulong-tulong na mm. alam yung mga nangyayari sa mm. paligid. Mm. So, if people were more vigilant, mm. nakikita nila agad-agad, oh, baka, baka nahinto agad yung fire. Mm. Saka sino ba nagluluto? Because yun, like, nagluluto ng kaling baboy, it was not the first time mm. na before nangyari na, kaso nahinto agad-agad, kailangan nababantay siya o nabawala na siya agad-agad mm. to do that. Mm. Siyempre, yung ganito mga emergencies or disasters, yes. they affect development um, yes. thrust. Um, sa Malabon, anong major de development thrust niya? Mm. Uh, yun ka, yun na, uh, mm. well, yun major, mm. ang pinakamaganda. Kasi we're, we're focusing always on health and education. Mm. At uh, in sa nutrition, mm -hmm. we were happy to say, mm -hmm. in three years' time, we were able to mm -hmm. cut yun malnourished in half. From 16 to 8 percent, mm -hmm. so that's a big thing to us. Yeah, in fact, I recall a story published on Rappler. Um, you are the second, I think, uh, among Metro Manila areas with the highest rates of malnutrition from 2012 to 2013. Yes. Tapos na yon, so you're performing well sa ganong well, um, aspect. Um, Nagawa nag ng uh, mm -hmm. na a solution, but uh, mm -hmm. also we got innovations because mm -hmm. we involved the community in that project. Okay. Mm -hmm. So ngayon hindi naman namin ginagastos sa yung mga pagkain, yung mga pinapakain namin. No? Yeah. We get the community involved. They give us goods yeah. to feed all these people. Mm -hmm. And then we incentive, we give incentives to, to the parents mm -hmm. to bring their kids to those areas to my feeding yeah. program. Who introduced the initiative? The government or was it? The LGU. The okay. LGU, mm -hmm. yes. Um, so in civil society and um, the public, how vibrant um, is their participation? Now they're getting more involved because they know what's happening. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. na In fact, because with, with that, mm -hmm. we got an award sa Nutrition Council. Mm -hmm. uh, we got this innovative award na wala naman binibigyan dati. Mm -hmm. Wala naman innovative mm -hmm. award. So, ngayon, nagkaroon tayong innovative award because we involved the community. Mm -hmm. So, hopefully, magiging sustainable to programang ito. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, we decrease the malnutrition and definitely stunting because now, mm -hmm. we even include pregnant mothers mm -hmm. because we have, the, we have to identify as early as now, yung mga buntis, para sa ganun, hindi na magiging stunted yung mga anak nila. Mm -hmm. You should get the proper nutrients. Mm. Nabanggit mo yung innovation. Uh, Gemma, this year, um, this is the second round ng Hack Society, yes, uh, which was introduced in 2016. Uh, paano makakatulong yung ganitong mga um, avenues para mag-innovate? Yung civil society groups, individuals, para makatulong sa LGUs um, in addressing development problems like what? Okay. Mayor mentioned earlier. Yes, so uh, let me start with, um, so Rappler's been organizing the Social Good Summit mm -hmm. since 2012 um, and uh, since uh, the past how many years we've been working closely with the United Nations Development Program in the Philippines to shape these uh, conversations around innovation and development, innovation and society. Now, last year, we introduced Hack Society because uh, we thought, uh, why not go beyond talking about it, but also uh, think about that, pro get people involved in the process of innovation. So last year, we looked at four different areas where they can initiate solutions. Parang the idea is to initiate uh, hacks or solutions to these challenges of society. 
Uh, this year, we are spinning that off, yung Hack Society, into a separate build-up program uh, moving towards the Social uh, Good Summit. Um, we are looking at uh, four areas which we think are pathways to uh, the agenda uh, to leave no one behind, mm -hmm. to reach the last mm -hmm. mile. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, these four areas are media and democracy, uh, peace, governance, and local development, environment, and climate change. Within this, we're looking at solutions that might close mm -hmm. the loop around problems like waste management, mm -hmm. problems like, um, you know, climate, mm -hmm. what do you do with, ano to, with emissions, stuff like that. And then uh, we're also looking at yung sinasabi ni Mayor, public health and well-being. Kanina po, Mayor, di ba nag-uusap tayo about um, wellness programs yes, and why is it that these programs are not uh, getting a lot of traction? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe that's what we can ask our uh, the public out there. What kind of solutions can be um, implemented, um, enterprise-driven solutions around problems like this. Yes. You know? mm -hmm. uh, anong magiging mechanism nito? Mm -hmm. um, Siyempre dahil ito ay independent mm -hmm. na initiative mm -hmm. ng civil society, um, of course you have to innovate mm -hmm. and you have to um, test whether mm -hmm. it, it will work or not and then you will have to scale up before, mm -hmm. you, even, uh, you, before you can even main mm -hmm. mainstream the, the initiative. Anong magiging process ng so there are two ways. They, they can think of products or they can think of services. Um, what we're looking for are enter potential enterprises or things that can be change projects that can be implemented within existing organizations. So that's actually why we reached out to the uh, to the uh, city of Malabon because we what if um, these solutions can be uh, adopted at local level? Kung, kung they're ad they're applicable to yes. the problems of yeah. Marabon. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ayun kay Mayor, um, kasi kanina medyo in broad strokes pa nabanggit yung mm -hmm. problems. So, kung may ganong uh, potential ano, na mag-innovate mm -hmm. at makatulong sa, uh, mm -hmm. sa city, ano yung particular na mechanism for that para mag-interface? Um, uh, ready na ba yung LGU to accept? I, I think so, actually. Ngayon, kasi we're all, mm -hmm. you have to be aware, you, you have to use technology talaga. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. kanina I mentioned the mm -hmm. fires. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, if we have an app maybe mm -hmm. to fix, for example, inventory of goods. Mm -hmm. So, para pag, pag, pag may mga donors, mas mabilis, mabigay, malalaman ano ba yung mga kulang, ano ba meron. So, agad-agad, makakatulong agad-agad. Mm -hmm. Hindi ngayon, check by inventory, ano ba yan. Ilan, mm -hmm. Definitely, pag may susunugan, we take inventory of every lahat ng nyare logistical uh, problems so ang hirap nun eh so definitely if there's some mechanism for that mas mabilis lahat yan mm -hmm. so mas mabilis makatulog then hopefully they get back on their feet right away mm -hmm. no? at saka sa nutrition naman na, na bahagi um, ano pang kailang i-improve sa initiative actually na? madami pa madami pa although malaki na yung innovation na ginawa it's more it's more the interaction na ano ba yung ano ba yung dapat no, pare, yung mga papakain sa mga bata ano ba yung nutritious mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of like nutritious meal, but they maybe they need exercise as well. So what kind of exercise will they be doing? Uh, we we also incorporated because we have this Malabon champs, wherein we train mga bata. Well, right now we're just focusing on OSY uh, to have discipline. So they take uh, martial arts. Na binibigyan ng ng city government. So they they they're given martial arts program uh, with the help of we enlisted this this martial arts fighter. Na may, we made Jim see Irwin Tagle to help us out with that. So mm. we have this Malabon champs. Mm. And yung mga, ang, ang career path on, hopefully they get this pin. And they're the ones to be the coaches eventually. And they will teach the kids. Yung kakaskade nila. So ang gusto namin, parang nagbumultiply. So yun ang ginagawa namin ngayon. Um, well, it's getting traction. Dumadami na yung mga bata. Mm. Jacqueline, this is being undertaken in the context of the uh, of the pursuit of the sustainable, sustainable development, development goals. goals. Ano particular mm -hmm. goals ang gusto natin i-focus this time around um, as far as the Social Goods Summit is concerned? Um, actually, yung, well, just to put it into context, mm -hmm. no, yung Sustainable Development Goals, if, if not many are aware yet, mm -hmm. uh, these are um, you know commitments that the 193 member states of the United Nations mm -hmm. adopted in 2015. But negotiations before they came up with the 17 mm -hmm. Sustainable Development Goals mm -hmm. came way before we started the Millennium Development Goals, mm -hmm. which were really um, envisioned to help the least developed 
countries to, to move up, basically. But they were not attained. Uh, um, the well, there were attained. great achievements uh, mm -hmm. recognizing that. But, you know, because of over that 15th year period of the MDGs, mas may mga other challenges pa na lumabas. For example, climate change. Mm -hmm. From 2000 to 2015, that became very much a, a, a global issue. Yung disasters, yung severity and frequency ng disasters. So, naging global na yung concerns rather than just the, you know, the poorest countries. Yeah. That's why the member states of the United Nations envisioned the 17 Sustainable Development Goals para mas masay basically ang planet para mm -hmm. sa mga tao. Basically yun siya eh. So, yun ang context ng, ng SDGs. Mm -hmm. And SDGs also recognize that it cannot be just governments alone mm -hmm. that will make that can make the solutions. Um, it has to be everyone. So that's why we're working with, for example, organizations like Rappler, because we, we recognize the power of the media to, to, to you know, cultivate no, tung, tung mga ganitong klaseng ideas, youth, um, and the private sector as well. So specifically on the youth um, programs, um, our support to the youth, because yung innovation, um, yung passion, yung energy, um, yung connectedness, nasa kanila, eh, they can make things happen. Um, that's why, uh, that's why we're, 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 we're really engaging them. Mm -hmm. Para sa mga hindi pa familiar sa mm -hmm. Sustainable mm -hmm. Development Goals, um, yung mga concerns na binanggit ni uh, Mayor, saan magpo-folio? Um, for example, yung health, mm -hmm. that's uh, SDG 3, yung good, um, good health and well-being. Mm -hmm. um, so, so you SDGs kasi, well, we have no no poverty, zero hunger, um, good health and well-being. So there are 17 uh, gender equality, quality education, um, uh, well, um, decent work, um, peace, justice, and strong institutions, um, governance, better governance falls there, um, climate action, disasters. Um, so that's also like uh, uh, where you know, these programs actually will be will be linked. Eh. So, yung SDGs actually nagre recognize from the local level to the international level, global level. Um, it applies to everyone, and everyone can actually contribute something to achieve it. Eh. So that's why yung hack society when we conceptualized it with Grappler, it was to chip away at the SDGs. At the SDGs eh. yeah. the small solutions that can can help you achieve yung global okay. goals. So, yeah. At yeah. the end of the day, uh, solutions are tested on the ground, mm -hmm. and uh, particularly uh, sa local government, local government. Uh, units. Um, in your uh, <coughs> experience, ano yung mga halimbawa na mga innovations na mm. nag-work or ongoing, which is which are still being tested, pero applicable sa okay. mga LGUs? May sample ka ba para magkaroon ng ideas? Well, uh, I'll just cite some of the projects that uh, UNDP is um, supporting. So, halimbawa, uh, well, isang major um, development concern natin, syempre, yung quality and access um, to education, quality of and access to education. So, so um, UNDP has partnered with, the, um, well, actually, DepEd has partnered with UNDP to um, help speed up, accelerate the delivery of um, uh, so uh, of ICT um, mm -hmm. packages for senior high schools uh, across the Philippines. Um, so we, an innovation that uh, you know UNDP introduced is a citizens monitoring um, component of that project. So, in addition to the procurement um, of ICT packages to in, uh, para mas mobilis yung procurement ng mga um, ng mga equipment um, on the ground. Uh, UNDP also engage citizens um, para sila maging parte pag ensure na yung na deliver na deliver sa kanila yung equipment and y ito yung quality na ini expect na i-deliver sa kanila now how do they how do we do this um syempre may organizing yan plus they um, we we introduced a a tool uh, actually it's a parang smartphone siya eh, or cell, um, mobile phone based na tool na may mga syempre mga standard reporting mm -hmm. na mga kailangan um i-capacitate yung mga citizen volunteers or no, monitors and then this this actually gets centralized into a, a system and a platform na pwede mong i-access offline so DepEd can easily see mm -hmm. monitor track mm -hmm. yung movement delivery and also yung citizens in, in so other words yeah. um, nagpo-promote ka ng transparency, transparency ng participation, accountability, participation accountability. and quality education yeah. so it links to the SDG um, yeah number 4 mm -hmm. number 4 quality education mm -hmm. so yeah. uh, mayor sa Malabon kasi this is your second term yes. ano ano mga na-institute niyo 
mga mechanism para yung civil society, yung citizens maging vibrant yung participation sa governance well, na pwedeng tuntungan ng mga future projects. Actually, right now, we're fixing our CBMS. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be, well, when, it, when that's done, we're just doing it now. It's going to be online. Mm -hmm. So that will that will show transparency. Mm -hmm. So malaking malaking bagay yun. Uh, we're just starting it off mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. How are citizens participating at saka yung civil society? What's the... And like I say, ano po eh, uh, so right now we're just getting all the data ah, okay. together. So, so pag dalagay itong data, the number of households, all yeah, these okay. things, mm -hmm. they'll put it with the help of the ILG, mm -hmm. online to, makikita to, mm -hmm. and how will it benefit each community mm -hmm. para, para <coughs> sa mga disasters, so all these things, sa mga may problema, naalam na agad. Na, Disaggregated yung opo, data na to. Opo, so mm -hmm. malaking bagay yun kasi right now hindi din... Mm -hmm. Uh, our data set complete. Mm. So I think that's where we're starting mm. off. Because mm. yeah. even yung, syempre, yung mm. development about sa mga LGUs, um, iba -iba rin yung situations, my city, my town. Yes. Ikaw as a mayor, uh, as a city mayor, ano yung perspective mo sa, sa innovations? Because you have workflows, you have the bureaucracy, old ways of doing things, but you're young, you're a young mayor. But sa sabi nga ni Jack, it's not one person or one yeah, institution yeah. who can mm. do it. It's all, everyone has to get involved. Mm. So that's our, that's our slogan, is sama-sama mm. kaya natin. Mm. So we want everyone involved with all the things we're doing. Mm. Para sa ganun, uh, lahat tayo nakikinabang and we know what's happening. Mm. So kailangan ma ma mabuksan ang ating mga mata. Mm. Kasi madami nga, hindi alam yung mga proyekto na nangyayari, mm. hindi alam what's happening in the city, uh, they're oblivious. So hopefully, mm. Hey, we have these programs. It will help both of us. It will help. It will help the citizens. Pati yung mga yung mga nilalahan doon and the local government para mas madali yung trabaho namin. Yung target dito ay mga kabataan, mga entrepreneurs. 30 years and below. So we're asking young people from 30 years and below if they have ideas, they can form teams. Minimum of two members per team. And and look at the ano to their problem statements written in the announcement pages um please check out those problem statements um and then um basically they have to look at solutions possible solutions that can be uh, introduced related to those problem statements and they have to uh, explain why this particular uh, uh, solution that they're proposing is also uh, solving that main problem which is like um the last mile you know how do you uh, address uh, and ensure that the last mile will have access to Anong these services. information? Kasi baka naman ma-overwhelm um, sila sabihing uh, isang yeah. experiment na talagang proposal yung kailangan So, sabihin. we're looking for a minimum viable product, meaning like something, uh, a service mm -hmm. or an, it can be an enterprise or a service or a product. Um, it can be, it doesn't have to be digital or tech, uh, or, or tech driven. It can be a social innovation, a process, a new process, a new way of doing things. Mm -hmm. And if they, uh, ideally, these are replicable, re replicable uh, solutions. So if Malabon, for instance, adopts the solution and it works, then maybe that can be adopted by other, mm -hmm. uh, uh, other ano to, other cities, mga ganong klaseng solutions. Those are the ones we're looking for, and ideally, these are because sometimes we we we're stuck with solutions that, as Mayor said, is driven by government. What we're uh, looking for, the reason why enter, there's a focus on enterprises, is we, we, we want these solutions to be sustainable. And one of the things that we were discussing earlier is that for something to be sustainable, it has to be economically viable, yes. mm -hmm. right? Right now, uh, there was a time when um, you know solar energy was not yet economically viable, but this has changed over time. In fact, now it makes sense to have solar, mm -hmm. right? So, we are looking for solutions like that, solutions that the market can eventually adopt, can eventually turn into viable solutions. Nang kailangan ba yung feasibility study? Hindi naman sa ganun po. Um, wala na mo nang feasibility. So, so basically, um, it, it, of course, it requires research um, on the part of our hackers. Um, and we're, uh, the good thing about it is like Hack Society has been designed to make uh, it, to make support like mentorship uh, available to these young People. So when they submit these solutions, they go through a process, a hack mm. workshop, where um, they go through the process where they they somehow fill out their requirements mm. so that they have 
a proposal that's working already. And you so have that, mentors? You have experts? Mentors, yes. 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 What's good Guiding about them. the Hack Society is that mm -hmm. we're also working with um, mm -hmm. incubators, okay. no, yung mga accelerators, like yung mm -hmm. who can actually advise um, mm -hmm. these youth um, organizations no, on how, okay, pan, mm -hmm. How can you scale this up? Mm. How can yes. you market this better? Mm -hmm. You know, um, um, not just the financial resources. Eh. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, at, at later point, they will be able to, you know, um, may, they could be given access to a fin for a grant, mm -hmm. for example. Yes. But before, of course, you you yeah. give a grant, you need to have to demonstrate the viability of yes. your your proposal. Oh. So, and so many ideas. There's so many ideas there um, that. You the young people are mm -hmm. You mentioned the um, yung incubator. Yung incubation yeah. period, gano'n yung katagal usually? Is a well, process na the, the, the first, uh, the mentorship mm -hmm. process, it, it, that's for a whole day. There's a whole uh, set of activities that we have designed for September 14 okay. uh, for Hack Society. So once, they, they, they first have to submit an idea. Okay. Uh, deadline? So, the deadline of ideas mm -hmm. for submission is September 6, mm -hmm. that's on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So, once they have submitted those ideas, we will uh, 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 winnow it. Um, so, we will just be getting um, five teams for each, uh, for each of the topics, the subject matter areas that we posted. And then, those teams then go through the mentoring process, the Hack Society workshops, where hopefully they go through refining those ideas so that as Jing said they will eventually find funding so just to yung be accelerator mm -hmm. ano san yun asino yun sino uh, accelerator so yung ano ba, for example organizations yeah. like impact uh, hub mm -hmm. we partnered with them last year for the social good summit mm -hmm. and this year then so these are the organizations that help yung yung basically from point a to point b at the point mm -hmm. na may, they can be considered to to ano ba yun, scale up na talaga like yeah. full operations na mm -hmm. or mark business na talaga siya. So yung yung accelerator that's that's the role of the accelerators eh. like how can you how can you help speed up the uh, in, 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 improve the capacity or in, in knowledge and skills of this um, um, proposals no startups um, para they get to a point that they'll be ready to to actually expand their business yes. so, through enterprise. And, yeah. Oh. Yes. So, kasi ano to, um, some of the ideas, um, and we don't want people kasi to, ano to, eh, to, to shy away from coming up with ideas. Mm -hmm. So some of the ideas that we come out with are still raw ideas, yeah. and that's fine. I mean, it's yeah. good to start with those raw ideas, and then then ano, work uh, work through the process of refining those ideas. So we, that's the, the point is to start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the point mm. is to just uh, you know uh, jump into the ano to, uh, this ano, this uh, uh, process of ano to, coming up with the ideas already looking at possible solutions and then uh, what we want to provide with the hack society and all the other uh, processes we're working on with the innovation partners is um ano yung follow through mm. so that those ideas become more viable services that can be adopted at local or national level. Just, just to get off the ground. Oh, oh. Actually, that's the mm -hmm. same thing what happened for a tricycle tours. Because yeah. mm -hmm. this is really the thing. It's not just innovation in tricycle tours. Mm -hmm. It's basically just making use of what's available there in the city. Mm -hmm. So it's basically because mm -hmm. you can see the tricycles are there. So you adapt to what you need. That's why you don't have to go there. In fact, they go there and see the Naninirahan doon araw-araw, kaya I'm sure hindi na mahilig para tignan pa. How does yeah. that work now, ngayon, yung, nung nagkaroon na ng intervention na gano'n? Well, ngayon, ngayon uh, you access, you could book a tour through Facebook mm -hmm. uh, or to the tourism office. Mm -hmm. Tapos on, inaayos na yun doon. But I'm just saying, kasi yung mga pinupuntahan doon, yung mga naninirahan doon, I mean, they could care less because they see these things every day. Mm -hmm. But for mm -hmm. all the... Mm -hmm. yung mga backpackers, yung mga foreigners, yung mga hindi naninirahan doon. Mm -hmm. It's a whole new thing and it's everything's raw kasi yeah, uh -oh. uh, pag nakita nila isang lugar, hindi naman, hindi naman, hindi naman ang nililinis yung lugar o ano pupunta mm -hmm. nila as is. Mm -hmm. So kung ano, let's say, pupunta sila may tour doon sa Palenque because there's a two tours. It's a heritage tour mm -hmm. and a food tour. Mm -hmm. So in heritage tour po, um, dito nila yung mga old houses. Mm -hmm. So of course, we, we knock on the, kasi naninirahan pa yung mga tao doon sa mga bahay na yun. Mm -hmm. So we ask them, but yung mga yung food tours they go as it is titingnan nila paano gawin yung puto yun na uh, kakanin uh, so kware uh, may mga bata doon na uh, naglilimos hindi namin na ano yun nakikita yun so, so community based on okay. tourism yes oh. yes okay. and so, it was just organized yes, oh, yes. Oh, in, in fact when we started oh. no one wanted yung mga 
food establishments mm -hmm. no one wanted to join. Mm -hmm. And we, we had a criteria, kailangan second generation. Mm -hmm. So, uh, hindi basta basta bagong uh, ano lang pasok na, uh, uh, yun, matagal na may, may like sa doon na pupunta yung uh, Lugaw experience. Mm -hmm. Tubang, yun, kinita yun, tubong Lugaw talaga because they just, mm -hmm. they just uh, gumagawa sa dalawang kalderong Lugaw, Lugaw sa tapos na. So, umaga lang. <laughs> So mm -hmm. umaga lang. Parang pansit, di ba yung mas pansit? Hindi, pa yun. Just, uh, <laughs> but yung lugaw lang. Yung pansit kasi it's there. Yung nanay is pansit. But I'm saying, uh, pag naubos niya, pinuntahan siya, napaaral yung mga anak niya making that, yung lugaw. Mm -hmm. So, yun yung tour, pupunta lang siya doon. Pupunta lang sa so six places mm -hmm. to eat. Different places, yung food tour. So, isa doon yung lugaw, yung pansit, uh, uh -huh. Dolores Kakanin, uh, Hazel's Puto, mm -hmm. tapos yung Betsy's. We have this Brojas na parang lady finger. Mm -hmm. It's napakasarap. And you eat at Chudian's crispy bata. So you're, you're for uh, a small amount of fee, ano ka, busog do busog ka. So instead of going to Pampanga, to Laguna, to all these places, you can go within Metro Manila. Because Malabon is just, from Makati, is just what, 50 minutes away? Kung walang traffic, kaya 30 minutes. And what's the outcome now? What's the result after? Well, it's so good because now, you know Malabon for its culinary heritage. At, uh, at sa ginaya na ng mga ibang cities, I think the biggest form of flattery yung kinokopya ka eh. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, kaya ngayon, nalagay namin the original tricycle tours. Mm -hmm. Kasi ngayon, madami ng mga cities, may tricycle mm -hmm. tours. Mm -hmm. So, and then, and, and nakikilala din ng uh, government institutions kasi we get recognition mm -hmm. from that. Uy, ang galing ng tourism, ano mo, mm -hmm. mayor, may nangyayari siya. Mm -hmm. And we, we got an award from Maraca, Luminary. Luminary na kami ng Maraca because of the tricycle tours. Parang safety? Uh, Can you assure the safety? Well, Thank, thank God, no. Wala, it's pretty, you know, they, kasi alam naman ng mga, yung lahat ng involved na pinaka-importante, yung turista, mm -hmm. na wala mangyayari sa kanya. At so far, maayos naman lahat. What, what inspired the community to participate in this program? What do you think? Well, nakita nila yung success ngayon. So gusto nila, in fact, madami yung mga restaurants gusto nila sumali ngayon. Um, nakita nila natin na feature sa mga magazines, mm -hmm. uh, sa TV, sa news. So pinag-uusapan and they want to be part of it. So, ito malaking bagay yeah. dito, like this hackathon. I think yung mga bata, mas idealistic sila, mm. mas, mas go-getter sila, tas you're not cheated pa. Mm. So, agad-agad, gusto nila, oy, gusto natin may mangyari itong, itong innovation na ginagawa natin. Hopefully, ito na gagawin ng city na ito makakatulong talaga, madayang matutulungan. And of course, I think everyone wants to give back to society. And one way to scale up is through social media kasi yes. doon mabilis na mag-spread. Yes. Uh, at um, sila mismo yung mag mag-promote. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, according to studies, mas mabilis yung pag-spread ng information pag mm -hmm. galing mismo sa sila sayo. mismo. Sila mismo spread. kasi yeah. uh, yes. they live it. Eh. Sila mismo ang mm -hmm. naka-experience ng bawa, yung tourism program, yes. kung ano yung food. Sa But whatever yung, they experience, kasi ngayon, uh, ano nga, yung mga tao mas expressive, they just mm -hmm. use social media for mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. And so, more authentic. Mas authentic yung, yung presentation ng packaging ng Totoo po yan, totoo po yan. Uh, may question tayo ano, from, from Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, because we're live on Facebook, from Jean Armas. Uh, question niya for Mayor, is yes. it possible for a government institution like the local government to promote and preserve its cultural heritage without earning from it? So, iba naman yung kanya <laughs> perspective, kasi syempre yung well, tourism. Well, kasi wala, like yung tricycle tours, wala kinikita yung city. <laughs> Zero balance, because all the... All that na pupunta sa tricycle drivers or sa mga sa sa mga restaurants when they pay anon, so we we don't we don't make anything out of it. So the impact is economic development. Yeah, well, it will be put down within that area. So kami as akin, the way I see it, yun yun whatever or umi lumalabas lang din don. So mas okay yon kasi umi ikut lang yon. So that's right. And it's generating jobs. Yes, new new money coming in. So usually the man the the people coming in the tourists na inaano ng ano usually backpackers. And in fact, we have even mm -hmm. got get, yeah. getting blogs from Germany, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. ibang cities, Australia, mm -hmm. uh, European cities. So, so kakaiba because they they write about mm -hmm. it. Although I can't understand what they're writing. <laughs> no, Ma, maganda naman yun, ano, parang they're all smiling. They yeah. want pictures mm -hmm. by and everything. Another question: um, Why did you think of such project like the Malabon Champ? Um, uh, how is it driving? Uh, what is your driving force to do such project for the? City. What's the driving force behind? Well, gusto natin yung mga bata magkaroon ng disciplina. And I think martial arts is one of those things wherein you could get discipline. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, uh, yun nga, magagamit mo sa everyday pamumuhay mo. Kasi, you know, hindi man magagawin humahal ka ng away or anything. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
if, if may, may if something comes up, you could defend yourself. Mm. So malaking bagay yon. It's it's basically to uh, to 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 influence the youth. Ito, ito yung tinatap din natin yung youth. But we're also tapping not just the youth, but yung mga barangay talon. Mm-hmm. Kasi mm-hmm. yung mga talon, sila yung nagpro-protecta ng mga barangay. Yung tumitingin kung may nangyayari. So kailangan mm-hmm. equip sila. They have the necessary skills mm-hmm. to do their job. And one of them is knowing the, these things. Kasi mm-hmm. yung martial arts, hindi lang pati pag anything, yung arnis, anything, you could defend yourself mm-hmm. and help yung mga kasama mo. Mm-hmm. Kung may nag-aamok dyan, you can, mm-hmm. kailangan mahinto yung nag-aamok. Wala naman nag-rambulan dyan. Wala naman, wala naman. <laughs> so far, wala pa. <laughs> but, but at least yung ganitong mga initiatives um, mm-hmm. na nagsisimula na sa, sa mga local government units, um, pwede rin magamit sa ibang um, mm-hmm. local government units. But how do you bridge um, yung mga ganitong opportunities? For instance, mayroon kang innovation. Mm-hmm. Uh, an LGU would like to adopt it and then another one would like to adopt it too. Um, ano yung process to link well, up? Well, I guess th- this is actually the reason why we, when we, when we were organizing Hack Society, we thought of reaching out to another to groups, eh, to another local governments like that, eh, like Malabon, um, and we're we're still reaching out to the other local governments, and and maybe like they can just be part initially part of this, like you know, listen to the solution to, mm. to the ideas mm. that these young people mm. have to say. I mean, yung mga pinupropose nilang mga solutions, mm. and then. Um, while while we're helping them, you know, fine tune the solutions, then maybe uh, at some point it's in, it's encouragement and, and also exposure to to these real world problems that um, I think is necessary, um, so that they they get to refine those ano to, ideas further. Because minsan po ano pa eh, sometimes the the ideas are still ano to, um, they still need grounding, um, and and. Even if that were so, de ba na medyo kailangan pa ng kanting grounding ideas because you have these ano to, good intentions out there and then may, may, may so long as there's a grain of uh, uh, you know uh, there's something that can be developed in the may, may ano to, may kanting ano yung idea. Uh, it's about supporting that, supporting that process. Precisely because the challenge usually. Mm-hmm sa mga hacks like this ay yung sustainability. Kasi ang dami yeah. ng, Uh-oh. syempre yung mga bata ay napaka um, innovative ganyan, ang daming gustong mm-hmm. gawin at napaka brilliant ang ideas. Mm-hmm. And then, high na high sila sa isang hack, dami mm-hmm. nilang gustong gawin. And then, after the event, Uh-oh. dun, so, nakalimutan mo na sila. Nakalimutan mo sila, <laughs> walang Uh-oh. support, Next, um, ano or problems na, next na scaling Uh-oh. up, or mm-hmm. yung pag-apply sa mm-hmm. real uh, yes. life problems mm-hmm. na so, dapat i-address. Ha- so, first, um, wh- some the 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 kids should ano to, first uh, we encourage them to to think of it as a learning process diba yung yung ganitong mga hacks Th- these are learning processes ways by which they can uh, get more exposure to ano to, to these ano to, to one first they need to know the problems the real problems on the ground this is why we are ano to, reaching out to the LGUs diba get to know the problems more so that medyo mas fine tuned yung the problem that they want to solve kasi minsan they want to solve everything yes. mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's a like everything na ang gusto na lang isolve the, the problem with that is like what do you implement first yeah. and how can you ano to you you know do something na make it more doable first yeah. um and then uh, it's about that like uh, as they refine that and then come up with like how do you uh, work plan this process diba Di, para mangyari talaga yan social media and technology have really Mm-mm. democratized development Mm-mm. work further democratized development work um, in fact ngayon hindi mo na kailangan masyadong i-gather um, yung mga tao yeah. sila mismo Oo. na yung nagbo-volunteer ng information mm-hmm. during disasters or ng innovations um, I, I, sa experience ng Malabon um, Paano ka naging magnet ng ganito? Well, uh, um, we, we, we draw back yun. Kasi ngayon, lahat, yeah. they just, lahat uh-huh. pinapadaan sa social media. Yeah. There's certain mm-hmm. things. Kailangan uh, susulatan. Mm-hmm. Susulatan ng LGU. I mean, mm-hmm. kami, kami mm-hmm. bilang mm-hmm. bilang alkalde, I have an open mind for all these things. Kasi mm-hmm. hindi man po ako all-knowing. Mm-hmm. Dahil yung mga bagay, di ko alam. Mm-hmm. At ang laking tulong nito. Because you get ideas and from there, you get solutions from these ideas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but uh, may draw back. There's a thin line there. Eh. Kasi sometimes mm-hmm. they just force everything mm-hmm. through through social media, mm-hmm. through Facebook, and they expect answers right away. Hindi naman namin masagot. No? Mm-hmm. Lahat lang ano, problema ah. doon. Then they send you videos, they send you this, mm-hmm. whereas being, mm-hmm. eto, sira itong kaling ito, mm-hmm. as if alam na agad-agad yeah. ma- magagawa mo. Kasi una-una, mm-hmm. you have to have a budget for it. Kailangan, mm-hmm. uh, uh, 
you know, there's preparation for that. You know, basta-basta may sinabi ngayon, maayos mo right away. Sometimes it takes a long time. But at the same time, it also exposes the Apo. weakness of the uh, the limitations of the LGU. So, kayong mag-a-adjust ngayon? Hindi, but there are limitations. Sila bang mag-a-adjust? Oo, hindi. Kasi minsan talaga, when it comes to budget then, naka-plano yung budget. Hindi naman basta-basta magagawa all these things. Uh, and I, yeah, I guess that's where the exposure comes yes. in, yes. Like they, they should also realize that na ano to na, these are the realities, diba? the social realities that the local governments have to deal with, diba? na, ano to, to, to get things done. But patience is the key. Patience. So, Speaking of budget, in fact, that's one of the issues that you're going yeah. to look mm -hmm. into. How to ensure that stakeholders are involved in process like uh, mm -hmm. budgeting or yeah. know, project implementation. Mm -hmm. So, isa yun. Pwede yun na mga yeah. ano to. Kasi like, um, at local level, how can yeah. they be part of like, um, uh, you know, um, making that process of budgeting more democratic? Like, what are the, where should the money go? Baka may mga solutions silang ganun, Mayor. Yes, ba? So, how do they reach you, yung constituents mo? Yung they, social media? Yeah, 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 nakakalo eh, because now we have a we have a page, <laughs> Puso Malabon, or my page, in, uh, Mayor Lenda and Loretta. So they just post everything there. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we get flooded mm -hmm. with all these things. We don't have to But there's a social media team that can Well, there's a lot of people who to, to see and to check all these things. But uh, still, well, uh, every now and then I come up with Facebook Live and mm -hmm. I talk about this and that. Uh, we try doing that. So. Uh, but we still we're still fine tuning things. Mm -hmm. uh, how would you describe yung ano yung youth sa malabuan sa kayo civil society? Engaged naman yung youth they're very engaged naman. Slowly in civil society they're they're getting involved with a lot of things because they see they, they see things are happening naman. So but yung ang ang key is to getting all, everyone involved doing the same thing. You know the thing na lat lat sabay sabay sama sama. So that's why yung slogan namin, sama-sama kaya natin. Kasi kung collective, madaming magagawa mm. and masasustain. At meaningful yung um, conversations din at participation. Yes. Kasi lalo na ngayon, medyo toxic na yung social media. True, so, yeah. true. I, I Kasi think madaming, it's, yeah. ano, madaming laman ng social yeah. media. At least mm -hmm. this activity will help change the tone of so the conversation. Of, yes. And rechannel their energies yes. sa mga mas positive uh -oh. na mga So instead of them reports. thinking about like, you know, quarreling with somebody uh -huh. online, maybe yeah. it's about like focusing on particular mm -hmm. problem mm -hmm. problems that mm -hmm. really need solving and mm -hmm. and devoting time mm -hmm. and energy to ano to, yeah. fine-tuning fine -tuning the solutions so, to yeah. that. Yeah, on that note, um, we're going to wrap up our discussion. Your parting shots will start with Mayor. Um, maraming salamat because uh, this hackathon is a big deal for us. And hopefully, these, we'll get a lot of new, fresh ideas from this. And uh, we have an open mind, nga, hindi tayo all knowing. And gusto lang natin nga, we have to do everything collectively. Basta tayo collect, uh, we do things together, may pupuntahan. Sama sama. Sama sama kaya natin. Gemma? Um, we ask you to join Hack Society if you have a bright idea out there that can solve some of our most complex and uh, challenging problems. Uh, submit those ideas no later than September 6. Um, and uh, join Hack Society and help us come up with the solutions. Well, basically they've said it. Um, you know, thank you also for the opportunity. Um, we hope to see you um, in Hack Society. And if you need to know anything about the, the Sustainable Development Goals, um, check out un.org or ph.undp.org. Um, you, I mean, and um, get in touch with us. We also have like Facebook and Twitter as well, UNDP Philippines. Uh, and we'd be happy to assist you if you, need, if you want more information about the SDGs. Thank you for joining us. We've been talking to Jacqueline Damaso Gray, UNDP Communications Associate, Gemma Bagayawa Mendoza, the Social Good Summit 2017 Project Lead, and Mayor Antolin Len Oreta III, uh, Mayor of Malabon City. I'm Walter Tupas. Thank you for watching Rapper Talk. Thank you, Walter.